Hi there. Well, today I'm taking a look at the Surface Studio running Drawboard PDF. Now, Drawboard PDF is a fantastic PDF editing application that's available from the Microsoft Store. Uh, it's about $10 to $15 depending on what country you're in, and it's well worth purchasing. Drawboard allows you to quickly and easily do things like signing and marking up your PDFs, but it actually also has some construction features inbuilt, and they really come to life on a device like the Surface Studio. So if you're in the architecture, engineering, or construction industries, and you're working with physical paper plans, then the Surface Studio and Drawboard PDF can allow you to get rid of some of that paper and bring it into the digital space. Working with the Surface Dial in Drawboard PDF, when I place the dial onto my PDF plan here, for example, you'll see that it automatically launches a ruler and a protractor. So if I just rotate the Surface Dial around, you'll see it sets different angles and different degrees, and I can instantly draw straight lines alongside that ruler with the protractor at whatever angle I select. If I remove the Surface Dial, I can turn off that protractor, place it back onto the screen, and you'll notice that there's some other custom functions here built into the Surface Dial with Drawboard PDF. Again, Drawboard PDF is one of the launch customers with the Surface Studio, so they've built in a lot of functions into the Surface Dial here. Some of the Surface Dial functions allow us to do things like change the opacity of the pen, so I can make it a little bit see-through here, or make it a solid line. We can also change the size dynamically, even as we're drawing, so the line will go thicker to thinner using the dial. I can also use the dial to add lines to my page. And once I've added those lines, I can rotate the dial to select what type of lines I want on my page, whether it's grid lines, straight lines, even diamond or triangle lines. Another really cool feature of the surface dial using Drawboard PDF, if I select and rotate the dial around, you'll see that I can actually use it to rotate my page. So once I've selected that tool, rotating the dial around, just simply twist the page around. Fantastic when you're doing a bit of sketching or drawing or markup on a plan or a document. Um, combine this with using touch to pinch and zoom and move around and pan the document, uh, and it's a fantastic way to work. The beauty of Drawboard PDF is that it distinguishes between pen input and touch input. So pen, in this case, will draw for me, but touch will pan and scroll the document. For my money, Drawboard PDF is a no-brainer for anybody that has a Surface Pro or a Surface Studio or any other Surface product for that matter. It allows you to draw all over your PDFs in a really cool way. It really does that and implements that the best out of any PDF package that I've ever seen. Um, and it's a very natural way of working on your PDFs. If you are in the construction industry or architecture or engineering and you want to use Drawboard, there is an in-app purchase to get some of these features. I think it's around $20 a year uh, that gets you the pro features that give you a lot of construction functionality as well. And I should also add that Drawboard have a document management solution for architects, engineers, and construction workers. It's called Bullclip, and that's another one that you can check out in the store and that's available on an annual subscription basis. Bullclip would also allow you to work this way with PDFs, but it adds some pretty cool collaboration features to your Surface Studio and your Surface Pro experience as well. If you found this video helpful, please remember to give us the thumbs up, and if you've got any questions or comments below, if you've got an experience with the Surface Studio, please tell us about it. We'd love to hear from you.